Hey guys, I'm Celeste from The Girl in the Cafe and today I'm going to show you the Melita Barista TS Smart Bean to Cut Machine. Now, I think it's really hard to find a good bean to cut machine that is no faff and actually produces good quality coffee. Believe me, I have tried my fair few. So, in order to see how this bad boy actually really holds up and fits into my lifestyle, I've been using this over the last couple of months and I have to say that I found myself wanting to use this more and more every day. It's especially great when I don't have much time and I have to run out the door. I just turn it on, press go, and out comes a flat white or an espresso. This machine makes me most excited for people who don't know how to make coffee, don't want to and have no interest in making coffee, but love drinking good coffee. This machine is perfect for you. It's also really good for health and fitness people. I know I use it when I need a quick shot of espresso before the gym or going for a run. As you guys know, I am a massive fan of filter coffee, but my foundation is in espresso and I'm really passionate about it. As a barista, it can make me a little fussy. So I think it's really important to prepare your expectations for espresso at home that unless you're properly trained and have commercial grade equipment and machinery, it might not taste the same as a cafe or one that your barista made. But I think you can get pretty close. I think the aim here is to have something that gives you good quality, great tasting coffee that is consistent at home for those times when you don't have time to go out for a flat white or an espresso. And it's something that saves you time and money. Let's have a look, shall we? This machine looks really slick and minimal, but it actually has so many functions. The grinder and hopper is really cool actually because it has coarse and fine settings. I personally put it on the finer setting. But the hopper actually has two bean chambers that are airtight, which means that your coffee is going to be fresh. But it also means that you can, say, put in a darker roast espresso in one side, and then on the other, a lighter roast just for variety or for those more filter-esque, longer coffees. What I was really surprised at seeing in this bean to cup machine was a shoot that you can actually put already ground coffee in. So if you've got another grinder or you want to, you bought some coffee that was already ground or you want to try something on a different grind, then you can just chuck it down the chute and have that as well, if that is something that you want to use. The water tank has filter technology, so you don't need to descale the machine as much. I tend to use filtered or bottled water because I think that helps both the taste and the upkeep of the machine. But don't worry, this machine really is smart because it'll tell you when the beans and the water need topping up. How smart is that? The controls have an easy touch and slide option. Change bean chamber, volume or intensity. <laughs> and the brew kit is removable and pretty easy to clean. So I made coffee in the toilet. Yes, this machine is manageable by smartphone. And don't tell me you guys don't take your phones into the loo because I know you do. The Melita app connects via Bluetooth and I can tell it to make whatever coffee I want. So on a Saturday morning, you can technically make a coffee from your bed or the toilet. Just turn on the machine, go get prepped for your day and from your desk or wherever you are, whenever you're ready, connect to the machine via Bluetooth and order whatever you want. It already has about 21 recipes to choose from, but you can also program in your own personal recipes as well. It holds up to about eight people's profiles, so your workmates, family and friends can also have tailored coffees as well. And it's really fun. The flexible plug-in milk system is great. You can do everything automatically if you want, or if you're like me and you like to play around a little bit with latte art, you can just catch the milk in a jug and then pour your own flat white. Having this machine at home is also really handy if you like to cook with coffee, like add it to your slow roasts, or you like making coffee cocktails, like me. I'm so surprised at how well this is fitted into my lifestyle. I'm a barista and I work in the coffee industry, so I have a lot of access to really good coffee equipment and machinery that goes through a high volume. So to get that luxury and quality at home often comes with a price tag and it requires time and I was thinking about this and I thought 
If you work in a studio or an office, or you're a cafe owner, a barista, a chef, or a baker, and you're really low on time, and you just don't really want to make coffee on your day off, but you still want the luxury of an espresso-based coffee, then I think this is a really good option for you. It's definitely designed to be personal and save you on time. Cleaning this is easy, and I hate cleaning, but almost every function has an option for automatically self-cleaning. If you're using the milk, I normally detach the tube and I put the box, the milk box, with its airtight seal into the fridge and it's ready for whenever you want to use it next. Cleaning the drip tray takes seconds. It normally takes about 8 to 10 coffees before it'll tell you when you need to empty it and empty the grinds. The best thing about this machine is that the coffee is consistent, which I think is a benchmark that should be paramount to any cafe, so why not at home too? Of course you need to start with good quality beans, but at least you know your coffee is going to be consistent and therefore enjoyable. This machine isn't the cheapest in the market, but it is still really affordable, and I've come to find that it is so practical and well worth it. What I think this machine has over other bean to cut machines is the ultimate inconvenience. It is no mess, it's really easy to clean, it's got a great design, yet it's still got so many advanced functions that's user friendly. Anyone can make a really good tasting coffee from this machine, providing that you have good beans to start with. I think this machine is one you're going to use time and time again and that is where you're really going to get value for money. There's still so much I want to tell you, but I'm trying to keep this video short, so for more details and links, go to thegirlinthecafe.co.uk and follow me on Facebook and Twitter, and where I'm most active is on Instagram. Hit subscribe on the YouTube button, and also feel free to tell me what you'd like to see more of from me. Thanks, guys. Good boy, you love it, don't you? Max a fan.